It's the Tozer Show with Amber Toes. Weird stuff happens to me. I had to pee in a bag the other day because I got locked in my bedroom. Like I woke up and I went over to my door and it wouldn't open. The door was jammed. The, the doorknob wouldn't even turn so I was struggling with it for like three minutes. I was flipping out. I was screaming for my roommates, banging on the door. I even did a little karate. I was like, hi -ya! Sort of like Bruce Lee with a vagina. I eventually just ended up ripping the doorknob off the hinges. Then I was really screwed. So, you know, I calmed down. I figured, I'll just wait till my roommates get home. I'm not gonna die, I'm in my bedroom. So, I read for a little while. I got on the computer. I surfed the net for a while. I sent a few emails. Then I worked out. I started pumping iron, so I wanna get buff. I caught up on some personal hygiene. That was definitely needed. And then I just decided to take a nap. And so I went to sleep and I had the weirdest dream. <laughs> then I woke up and realized I have to pee. By this time it had been like four hours that I was locked in my bedroom. So I, it, was an, it was an emergency, so I looked around to see what I could pee in, and I saw a plastic bag, and I was like, yes, perfect. So I ripped off my pajama pants, and I put one handle in the front, one in the back, and I just peed. It was nice. And when I was finished, I was like, God, I gotta get rid of this bag of urine. So I went over to the window ledge and I carefully set the bag on the ledge. And as I was pulling up my pants, I noticed that the bag had fallen over the ledge into the courtyard where a bunch of kids and dogs were playing. And then pretty soon, like a bunch of people are surrounding the bag of pee, trying to like, just, you know, investigate what it was. You know, one guy's like, who's throwing pee bags out the window? This is disgusting. So there was this big, huge investigation, and everybody figured out it was me because the bag that I peed in was a Chinese delivery bag, and the receipt was stapled to the side, and it had my name, my address, my lunch order. So now every time I walk into the lobby, I, I hear people whisper. They're like, yeah, that's the one. That's her. She lives in apartment 3C. She likes chicken and broccoli, and she drops urine bombs. She's crazy. Now when I walk down the street on my block, I hear urine bomber. Like that's my new nickname. Maybe we should use urine bombs instead of real bombs. You know, I'd much rather see somebody drenched in pee being like, oh, oh I have pee all over me than like death and destruction and blood and guts and innocent people dying. Let's just throw some pee on him and be like, hey, let's try to work together. And I, or, you know, if you don't, I'm going to throw this bag of pee on you. I think it would just work out better. We could call it Operation Golden Shower. What do you guys think? Everybody for, for pee war? Let's have a pee war or like prank them. You know, why don't we just pull big pranks on them? <laughs> we can go over there and like teepee their little houses and be like, come on, share your oil and we'll like, you know, give you some, an iPod or something. I just think there's a better solution. Don't you? I do.